Athanasi, Chapter 9, Alpha. Today we are going to cover the present participle active, the genitive possessive phrase, genitive prepositions, and so on and so on. The present participle in the present form is listed here. Uh, notice uh, it looks like, except for the first declension, the third declension endings. A, uh, E, Os, Ace, As, Sin, and On. So uh, this is the present participle for the verb Amy or to be, which Latin doesn't have. Present participle in Greek is translated just like the present participle in Latin. No tense, progressive aspect, and in this case we have an active voice, just as we had in the middle. Uh, this one would be just like the Latin present participle, being. So the girl being, the man being, and the Fuffy Wumpkins being, since Fuffy Wumpkins, who's sitting right next to me, is now neuter. The present participle uh, be is very nice because that ending, as you can see right here, is suffixed, or put at the end, of the present stem. So, whatever the present stem is, in this case our simple verb of luo, you have this nice ending, so it's lu, sa, lu, san, lu, se, lu, se, lu, sai, lu, sa, lu, sai, lu, lu, on, ton. Notice uh, the present participle uh, in the plural genitive is very easy. So you have those endings. Now, what happens if the stem ends in a vowel, such as an epsilon contract verb? Then you have phileon goes to phileon, but it notice you've got this upsilon there because it's phileuntas, phileunti, phileunta. This is the traditional grammar form where you go nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, which we don't do because like forms are totally separated. Now, uh, it, what if it's an alpha contract? Well, then you have the symbol alpha plus omicron equals omega. So, timon, notice the omega, timontas, timonti. Uh, questions that you'll see on the national Greek exam will ask if a verb is an epsilon contract or an alpha contract. So, you'll have to remember the contract rules. If you see an u or an a where it shouldn't be, it's an epsilon contract. If you see a omega, it's an alpha contract. And uh, as we can see right here, present participles will agree with the nouns that they're modifying in gender. In this case, so the farmers using the work. Uh, notice the genitive using alpha there as well. Well, sometimes the genitive with action is going to equal an object. someone I hear of you. So slight differences. Now uh, of course panontes here is being turned from plural to singular. The sexy distractor of course thinking it's accusative would be here, but it's actually the gods drinking the wine sit on the seashore, on the mountain actually. <laughs> difference. Present participle active form. Now here you have sigmas. You haven't learned that yet, but that'll be the aorist. Sigma alpha is an aorist. A normal sigma is the infix that tells you it's a future. And then, of course, what's this one? Uh, aorist participle, which you don't know. Shouldn't put that in, I don't think. But we'll have to edit those. The grammar, of course, which you're not going to see. Uh, and short. So, perumenos, oh, notice, perumenoi, present participle, middle.
also have poyuntas. Oh, is that an epsilon contract? Yes, it is. There's the u instead of poyuntas. agreeing with the men. Bondolon is accused of masculine singular, which happens to look just like Ergatsanumanon. And we have here To, Paidi, To, ah, repeated pre, uh, participle indicates that it's being used as an, a straightforward adjective, pardon me, uh, a repeating article. And by own T, of course. There, this is either ablative or day. of mine. Pronouns are a little different in English, as you can see. Uh, I am uh, works, as we would expect, make possessive. You could either do it with the preposition of. So, the secret precinct of Dionysus. Now, oh, so, oh, I look for accusative. Where's the other accusative? What's this part right here of Dionysus? most of the time because of that definite article sandwiched in there kept between the definite article and the noun of the of course would be to the you beautiful Also mean with the genitive, a uh, agent of those when you think of passive, just like Bob with the ablative. So we have ek takes the genitive. Which one's genitive? Uh, you know that. Ek takes the genitive. All right, so that's everything we need to worry about, except, of course, we'll be talking about the language. Oh, just told you what that game's going to be. Lecture, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And uh, remember, see you in office hours.